हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द फैंटेसी मैच प्रीव्यू फॉर द गेम बिटवीन मुंबई एंड लखनऊ दिस इज सुपर सैटरडे एंड बिफोर सुपर सैटरडे बिगिंस रिमेंबर टू जॉइन द फ्री गिव अवे फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो गो टेक अप दैट फ्री एंट्री एंड विन लॉट्स ऑफ प्राइजेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिमेंबर टू मेक 25 टीम्स इन द ग्रैंड लीग बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ ह्यूज फर्स्ट प्राइज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेरी लेस कंपटीशन एंड रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज अ लीडर बोर्ड सो द फास्टेस्ट एंड द स्ट्रांगेस्ट विंस So remember to make your teams for every game and get a chance to go to Australia and watch the T20 World Cup final. So first up the keepers and the batsmen and there's no surprise in the first pick that I'm going to make Quinn and Decock. He is playing against his ex team Mumbai Indians and we have seen that trend till now where all the exes are falling off heavy on their ex teams. Apart from that my second pick Lokesh Rahul looked in really stable form giving you those vital runs up top and from a fantasy perspective he's a really safe pick. third pick is ishan kishan very up and down sort of form till now he can be a gl drop candidate especially against the bounce of jason holder but in your small league team there's not really much logic in dropping him apart from that two batsmen in this game surya kumar yadav looked in really hot form and yes if he's chasing he might be my gl captain once again apart from that my second pick rohit sharma in that last game he did show some shades of form before getting out to that rabada bouncer but we are expecting much much better things from him and now we are on to the all rounders and the bowlers section first pick devold bruis wow that innings last time around was just amazing after being on zero of eight balls to come and hit four sixes against a prime leg spinner is no mean feat so he obviously becomes our first pick especially he can give you some bowling value too apart from that krunal pandya again playing against his ex team so he would be desperate to prove a point third pick would be jason holder and yes if he is bowling first he is 100% my captain for this game he gives you those wickets at the death and along with that is really good with that batting value too apart from that three bowlers in this game the two would be avesh khan and ravi bishnoi Avesh Khan is again giving you that death bowling value. Ravi Bishnoi bowling well in the middle, and he is enticing batsmen to play those attacking shots. So he is going to get you a wicket or two. And the third pick is no prizes for guessing. Jasprit Bumrah looked like Mumbai's best bowler by a distance. He's been bowling really, really well. Not getting that bag of wickets because batsmen are trying to play him out and attack the rest of the bowlers. But yes, you can never drop that man. Finally this is what my team looks like with three keepers two batsmen three all-rounders and three bowlers and yes some interesting gl choices for you you can make those choices based on the matchups in the next section so now we're on to the matchups and like you can see i did have a credit left in my team in that final team but yes why am i not picking certain players i know your first choice and the first man you're thinking about marcus stoinis but he's been dismissed three times by jaspreet bumrah at a strike rate of below 70 which means that this man does have some domination over stoinis so probably that's why i didn't pick him in my small league team apart from that the other match up jason holder was dismissed pola two times but he has pola as that massive strike rate of over 180 against him so that game can go either way it's a battle of attrition but he has pola does bat lower so again does become a difficult choice for you to make and the third match up kl rahul who's been dismissed twice by jaspreet bumrah but like i said they are playing out bumrah so if Rahul does play out Bumra then he has the ball at his feet against the other bowlers now we are on to that section where you can make your team with just two three or four players for me in this game i'm going with three players first pick quinn and decock looking in really good form and will prove a point against his ex team second pick jason holder if he bowls first 100% he is that second pick if he bowls second that maybe i will replace him with lokesh rahul apart from that my third pick is rohit sharma who i'm surprised to say is currently a risk but i feel he looked in good form in that last game and is going to get better as the season progresses so you to go and make your challenge picks now join us on the telegram channel for the final team and updates as well as your second innings team and win big